Fly fishing is a very popular activity that people from all over the world pursue and enjoy. Some refer to fly fishing as an art, others think of it as a sport, many approach it as simply a fun, stress-relieving pastime, and some primarily utilize fly fishing as a means of harvesting food for the dinner table. Yes indeed, if you ask 10 different fly fishermen or fly fisher women what they enjoy about it and why they do it, you're bound to get 10 different answers. Fly fishing is sometimes portrayed as an elite, specialized form of fishing that's only reserved for wealthy and prestigious sportsmen. After all, fly fishing gear can be expensive, traveling to premier fly fishing destinations can seem totally unrealistic to many folks, and all that fancy fly casting can look very difficult and intimidating. Now while it is true that beautiful, custom-made fly rods and exotic travel can cost a small fortune, and it does take a little practice to get the hang of fly fishing techniques, the reality is that anybody, anywhere can fly fish. No matter how old or young, no matter if you're rich or poor, no matter what your athletic ability or level of coordination may be, you can do it. This video is brought to you by the Hunting for God, Fishing for the Lord series of books. Come along on an unforgettable adventure for the soul. Learn more and order your copies today at Amazon.com by clicking on the link in the video description below or by visiting 3MinutesOutdoors.com Let's get things started by answering the question, what is fly fishing? Now many a fly fisherman has been jokingly asked, so how do you get those little flies to stay on your hook? To clear up any confusion, no, fly fishing is not a matter of fishing with actual flies and other tiny live bugs for bait. For starters, consider that there are two basic styles of rod and reel fishing. Fishing with live or prepared bait, or fishing with a wide variety of artificial lures. With bait fishing, the live or prepared bait is secured to a hook of one kind or another, cast out into an ideal spot where fish are most likely to be present and active, and then the fisherman typically waits for a bite. By contrast, fishing with artificial lures is generally a much more active style of fishing, as the fisherman continually casts and retrieves a lure over and over again through a potential area and keeps moving to cover as much water as possible, instead of just waiting for the fish to come to them. Now fly fishing can be a combination of these two basic styles of fishing. The baits or lures that are used for fly fishing are simply referred to as flies or fly patterns. These are handcrafted artificial lures that are tied from natural materials such as feathers and fur, as well as a wide variety of synthetic materials. Many of the flies that fly fishermen use are carefully crafted to closely imitate the insects, bait fish, and other natural food items that a certain species of fish eats. On the other hand, fly fishermen also commonly use what's referred to as attractor patterns, which are flies that don't necessarily imitate a natural food item, but rather appeal to a fish's sense of curiosity or aggression. With fly fishing, some patterns are presented to the fish like a live or prepared bait that slowly drifts through an ideal spot or that even sits still, waiting for a fish to come and take a whack at it, while other types of fly patterns are fished more like artificial lures, which are presented over and over again with a fast retrieve and with the fishermen staying on the move and covering a lot of water. Now much of this depends on the specific body of water you're fishing and what species of fish you're after. But in either case, the fly patterns that fly fishermen use are generally fairly small and lightweight compared to live bait or big artificial lures. In fact, some fly patterns are so teeny tiny that you may need a magnifying glass to even tie them to your line. So due to the much smaller size and weight of most fly patterns, Specialized tackle is needed to cast them out and present them to the fish. Thus, the fly rod and reel, which is generally a long, flexible rod and special line that's designed to help cast those fly patterns out there. Again, I'll be covering much more about fly fishing tackle later. 
If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.